So we are in Gaillac in France with Caro Toussaint. Son. I don't really think you pronounce it. Son. Caro and Son. Um, from Jérôme Gallo, Gal Galliop, um, which is a Camille Rivier import. And we've been working for a long time to get some of her stuff in. And because uh, she's always sold out, <laughs> especially on the less expensive bottles. And um, we were stoked to be able to get this one because it's an unbelievable wine and like for the price it's just like holy crap <laughs> so with all that hype let's dive into what it is um so it is a uh varietal that you probably don't hear of that much called duha um u-r-a-s and it's not that sexy uh, to the french it's like pretty rustic um but that's something that's super lovely about it and it really goes uh with the region and the fair um and I love it. So uh, they produce biodynam biodynamically, just like a teensy bit of sulfur added right at bottling. Um, and yeah, we should basically just expect this to taste like, holy crap, I can't believe you're $24, basically. Uh, all right. So on the nose, it's like almost like a little bit like olives on the top. Maybe some like licorice, a little bit like uh, uh, what's it called like meaty on the bottom. What's, oh, I forgot to tell you the vintage. The vintage is 2020, so still pretty fresh. And honestly, I'll talk about this later, or I won't. But <laughs> it's you could you could probably also age it. Um, on the bottom, it's like super juicy, almost like a little bit overripe red fruits, like cherries that like black cherries that just burst. Um, not so much on the plummy side, I would say more like raspberries, a little bit maybe there's an earthiness to it too that I'm struggling. It's not, it's not like forced floor. It's like something kind of like, I don't know, it's not really gravelly either. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it when I try it. So on the palate. Mm. It's just so perfectly complimented. Um, so it's got medium but like very soft tannins that really balance out the um uh acidity, which is high, which is great. And the um most of those notes that we were just talking about, I'm still getting here. Um, especially like the black olives, I would say uh like a little bit like herbal. At this board, not herbal. Yeah, it's, I guess herbal, like, but almost like minty and tarragon or sage or some, something in that realm more so than what I was getting on the nose. Um, as you can see, like, it's just like an incredibly complex wine that has a lot of really great stuff going on. Um, and it's it's just a great price performer. So with that in mind, it's definitely a food wine. Um, it's not like a light, fresh, chillable red, <laughs> which not all of them should be. I want everything you get to be a representation of all natural wine. And this is just like an absolutely gorgeous example of one that is like perfect for food. So when we're thinking about what to eat with it, it's it's kind of like a hearty wine. And I'm thinking like, especially the grape, the grape is like known for being hearty and rustic, like I said. So I like the idea of it with like stews, beans, lentils. Uh, but if we want to put a summer take on it, let's say like broths on the grill, hamburgers, like it's going to go with all those things still, but probably keep it in like the red meat category, I would say. Uh, but yeah, yummy. So glad to have some wines from her and I hope we get some more soon. Enjoy.